Hey, what's going on guys? My name's CJ, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on so you don't miss out on any of these awesome, valuable how-to videos. If you're back again, you guys rock. Okay, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to remove copyright claims on your YouTube videos when you have music playing and it was found to be copyright by YouTube. It is not a copyright strike, but it is a claim, which means if you're monetized, you will not be able to earn any revenue because the claim belongs to the artist who produced the song. Now, I recently live streamed a countdown of The Mandalorian Season 2. And doing so, I used copyright free music from TubeBuddy using the website Audio Hero. Audio Hero has whitelisted my YouTube channel, so I will not receive any copyright claims or strikes. Unfortunately, a song came up in the end part of my video that YouTube found to be considered a claim towards that song or producer. Why, I don't know, but there is a way to fix this. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Here we go, guys. Pay attention. Before I get into showing you how to remove the claim, I want to show you this if you have received an email from YouTube like this. Hi, CJ's Info. Copyright owner using content ID has claimed some material in your video. Your video is live and the visibility settings you selected remain applied to it. But it is now either being monetized by the copyright owner or they have chosen to receive analytics about it. This is not a copyright strike. The claim does not affect your account status. And they show you the name of the copyright content, Frantic Spirits, claimed by Source Audio Holdings, LLC. Okay, so this is not a copyright strike. It's just a claim ID, which means me being a monetized channel, I am not allowed to receive any revenue because the song belongs to somebody else. However, my channel was whitelisted, which means I should not have received that playing copyright free music from Audio Hero. And I played multiple songs from their website, so I was really surprised that I even got one but it is what it is, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. And it's really important that you do fix it as soon as you can because you will not receive the ad revenue that you earned for the views that were coming to that video. So it's really important that you get that money back that you lost. So go to Manage Videos, YouTube Studio. Now we're going to go to the live video or whatever video it was that it says it is ineligible. This video cannot be monetized. You want to go to where it says restrictions, go under that. It says this video was found to contain copyrighted material. As a result, it cannot be monetized by the uploader. However, it still can be seen publicly. So click on see details. Okay, copyright summary and status. Channel impact not affected. Visibility is public. Monetization ineligible. Now, they give you three options to make your video monetize by dealing with this problem. And they show you where the problem lies in the video. The problem occurred from 51 minutes and 25 seconds to 52 minutes and 30 seconds. Tells you who the source belongs to and that it is monetized in some territories, but mostly nowhere. And the ad revenue is being paid to the copyright owner. So what can you do? You're going to click on select action. Now you have four options to take. You can trim out the segment, you can replace the song, or you can mute the song, or you can dispute this and you can tell YouTube that your channel has been whitelisted by Audio Hero and you shouldn't receive this copyright claim. Now I'm not going to dispute it because it will take longer. I'm simply going to replace the song. I could choose to mute the song but I do want to have a song in there and I don't want to trim out the segment because that's going to take away views from the video. So replacing the song, I believe is the best way to go. Really don't care about the song that is going to be replaced. It's not a big deal to me. Now, when you replace a song or mute it, you're going to see a red line and the red line indicates where the actual copyright song occurred. Now notice here the song is actually longer than what YouTube is telling me. Right here it says 51 minutes, 25 seconds to 53 minutes and 5 seconds. So if you don't know what that time is, meaning 
do the subtraction in your head or use a calculator. Three minutes and five seconds minus one minute and 25 seconds would mean that there was two minutes and 20 seconds of audio of copyright audio. If you want to use a calculator, you can do that as well. Just go 305 to 125. That's a one minute and 80 seconds, but you need to convert that because there's 60 seconds in a minute, two minutes and 20 seconds. Now I need to know in my mind, I need to find two minutes and 20 seconds of audio to replace, to overwrite this song. So what you're going to do is you're going to type here in the search bar. So now you're going to use YouTube's copyright free music. Keep in mind on their audio library, not all of the music is copyright. They do have some songs that have to have an attribution in the description. If you don't want to deal with that, just click on attribution not required. So now you have songs that have no need to put the name of the song in the description or any attribution. Now I want to narrow down the length of my song. I'm going to go down to duration. And now you have two options here, longer than or shorter than. I'm going to say I want it to be longer than two minutes and 30 seconds. Even though I need 220, I'm going to go with 230 just to be on the safe side. Okay, now we can scroll down and find a song that's about 220 or longer. That's fine. You can play the button to hear the song if you want to see if you like it or not. This song is two minutes and 38 seconds. So sounds cool to me. I don't mind it. I like the song. So I'm going to use this song. All you got to do is press the add button. Add. Now notice what happens. There's a blue line under where the red line was. And notice that the red line has disappeared. So now if you want to zoom in, you can click on the scroll bar here. You can zoom in and scroll over, press down and scroll over to the right. And you can see right here, it has a check mark, which means it's being covered. If you still see the red at the top, that means the music hasn't been covered. You're covering or replacing the song. So you want to make sure the bottom is in blue. All right, now you're done that, you're simply going to hit save. This process might take a while. Once the audio claim has been successfully replaced, will update any viewing or monetization restrictions. Users will continue to see the current version of your video, the edits are processed. It is now saved. Now I need to wait for YouTube to edit the video with replacement song that I selected. I'm gonna close this out. Now, if I wanna click back into it, just to verify that it worked, I can go back, click see details. And now you see I cannot select an action again because it says unavailable while the video is processing. YouTube is now processing this change. Now I'm going to come back and see this ineligibility saying the video can't be monetized. It should turn green and be monetized. It should be fully monetized once YouTube processes this change. Boom. All right, guys. It is officially fully monetized with no restrictions. It took a long time, actually, from the time I submitted it, it was 4.32, and now checking it around 10.30 almost, six hours later, it took and is now fully monetized. So, guys, no matter how long it takes, it's worth to get your videos all green, all fully monetized. Make sure you're earning the money that you deserve on YouTube. And that's all I got, guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.